Hello and welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about for loop in C programming language. For loop is by far the most widely used loops in C programming language. A loop is used to repeat a block of code for a certain amount of time. To use the for loop you need to use the keyword for and within the parentheses of the for loop you need to set up three types of statements. The first one being the initialization statement. The second one being the conditional statement and the last one being the resulting statement. The initialization statement is where you set up an iterator variable. The conditional statement is where you decide a condition on which the for loop will execute or the for loop will break its execution and come out of the for loop. The resulting statement is executed when all the lines within the body of the for loop have been executed. To clearly understand the working of for loop, Take a look at the flowchart that is being displayed on your screens right now. When the program pointer comes inside the for loop, the first thing that it needs to do is set up an initialization statement. When the initialization statement has been executed, it checks for a condition. If the condition holds true, then it moves to the body of the for loop. But if the condition is false, it breaks away from the for loop and goes towards the remaining program. In case where the condition holds true, the body of the for loop is executed and when there are no more lines within the body of the for loop, the resulting statement is executed. After the execution of the resulting statement, the program pointer goes back to the conditional statement and checks again whether the condition is true or false. This whole cycle is repeated until the condition comes out as false. So that is how for loops work. To explain the working of for loop in C programming language, we're going to write a code that would take a number from the user and print the sum of 1 up to the number that has been taken from the user. Now normally if you were to write this code, it would be really hard to write it without the loops because you don't know what is the number that the user will input. So coming to the code, the first thing we need is a variable that we will use to store the user's input. Next up we also need a variable that we will use to store the result. We need to prompt the user for input so we will use a printf function and ask the user for an input. The next step is to take the input from the user and store it inside the variable that we have just declared. The next step is to get a sum from 1 up to the number n, n being the number from the user. So for that let's use a for loop and let's set up an initialization statement of integer i is equal to 0. This variable i is known as the iterator variable. We will use it to iterate through multiple instances of the loop. The statements inside the parentheses of the for loop are separated by a semicolon so I'll be putting a semicolon over here. And then you need a conditional statement. So we want our iterator variable to go from 1 up to the number n that has been inputted by the user. So we're going to say i is less than equal to num. And just like I said we need to count the variable i from 1 so I'm going to change this 0 to 1. And for the resulting statement I want to increase the value of 1 for every execution of this for loop. So for that I'm going to use i++. Now for the body of the for loop it is pretty easy. You just have to write sum is equal to sum plus i. So the logic of this code is pretty simple. With every iteration of the for loop, a new value is added to the variable sum. The last thing that we need to do is we need to display this result or sum to the user. So for that we can simply use the printf function and say that the sum is and then we can simply pass on the variable sum. So let's execute this program. Let's type in a number let's say 5. And then we have the sum 15. So if we count from 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 we get the answer 15. So that is how we can use for loops where we don't know how many times do we have to iterate a particular block of code. That is all for this very short video on for loop in C programming language.